Hello, I am Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look of how you can add a floating hamburger menu to your card website. So if you don't know, Card is a software that can help you build a one page website easily. I've created some tutorial in the past that you can check. And in this video we are going to see exactly how you can add this floating menu to the right that uh, everyone can use and uh, go to their uh, to their place so in here you see that when you click this it will direct you to the section you need so yeah you can change the colors you have the options to close this if you click it again it will close this is also responsible for the menu if you're going to check in here you'll see that this will have like a smaller font that will not uh, interact with users so in this video, we're going to see how you can uh, add this easily to your card website. So you will need also the Pro Plus plan if you want to add this widget because this will be like a code that you will need to add on your website. And in here, I've created the Tradian article with all of these things. So basically in here, let's go. You need to add an uh, widget, an embed widget, and then you need to add this code. So this is the actual code that uh, it's doing this. So in here you see that you have the code, you have the option to change the primary color and the primary color it's uh, in the RGBA format. Basically it will let you use also a transparent color and in here you can set the transparency for this color. And uh, I will show you a tool that can help you do this. Secondary color is for the text, font size base. Again, you can change it, floating hamburger size, so you can change the hamburger size and floating font, this is inherit, so this will use what you have set in card, but you can also change it with any font you want in here. These are some default things and this is the code and if you want to change the floating bar, you can change the width in this section. So yeah, that's about it, the customizations that you can uh, do of course you can do other customization in here if you know css and uh, in this area in the input area with uh, spam and so on and uh, the li it will have the menu items so in here to add a menu item you just need to copy this li and put your hash ref in here with the section and with the name so this is a basic html thing it's easy to do you just need to add the things you have in in there like in my menu you have this home about testimonials and contact for any other things you just add them at the end or modify them in function of your menu this is the close it has a small script and in here you have also all the details with what we've discussed right here how to change the primary secondary and what everything it's it's about and yeah how to change the menu items and again here you can add like this a new menu item and for instance let's go and check this tool that can help you choose the color so this is the tool it's free you can use it and in here for instance if you want to choose a color let me go and choose like a different color for this let me choose hmm, something like that and I want to make it transparent and to do that we can just highlight this and right now we have a color and uh, this will be used by the hamburger and the items. It's like the menu background. And let's go and copy this. I have a team in here, not this one. This is a team, bug me. It's a team that I am using and uh, you can also use it. It's free. You can go to my website and choose one. And in here, let's add this. So for instance, let's go and uh, use the plus and add an embed. And I will add it in here. This will be code. And in here we have like a floating menu. Like this. And in here it will be in line. And in here let's go and copy the code and put our colors in there. So I will copy this code from here. As the code with the style and everything. I will put it in here. And right now let's go and copy also the color for this. Like this, I want this pink one to be to be there so we can see it. So let's go and put the pink color in here. Like this, I will add the closing. And right now we can go and hit done for this. And hit save. Save changes. 
and uh, after we can view the demo and in here you see that you have a menu and in here you have the menu with the text which is white you can change that it's the secondary one and in here you have the background that we've chosen with the transparent mode you have chosen in here so you see that it this is transparent because you can see the other things you can decide not to use the transparent it's it's up to you you can change this in the way you like and right now if you go to about it will go there and it will auto close if you don't go to contact again it will do that and yeah this is like an easy way to add a uh, hamburger floating menu to your card website in case you want to see other tutorials i will let a playlist into the video description so you can check for instance how you can do this responsible menu this sticky menu and other card things that uh, will help you customize a little more your card installation i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe